Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Perkins Engineering YouTube channel. Uh, this is our first video since making the, the channel. We have uploaded some other videos there, but this is the first one we've made just for the YouTube channel. And uh, we decided to make a channel because we've been you know, getting great response to the videos we, we do, especially with Larry starting his pony engine the other day for his Caterpillar RD4 restoration project. I did think the first video we were going to do was in Melbourne at our Perkins Engineering Workshop where we're busy restoring the old race cars. So we're doing the 1993 Bathurst winning Holden Commodore, 1994 Bathurst third place Commodore. We've done the 2003 uh, Castrol VY Commodore, Larry Perkins' last Bathurst car, and indeed now the 2015 Holden Race Team Commodore, which we're doing some work on as well. But because of the lockdown and the COVID-19, we're up here on the family farm. We've got a lot of work to do out here behind us. We've got the crops in for the year, so we've got spraying jobs and maintenance and service to do for the rest of the farming year. But this is where Larry has his Cat RD4 dozer. So that's the other restoration project that's really exciting. So we'll go and check up on, uh, check in with him and see how that project's coming along. But in the meantime, if you could like and subscribe our YouTube channel, like the videos, comment on them, and uh, share the word. We'll be looking to get some uh, weekly or fortnightly updates uh, up on that channel. Um, apologies if it's not quite up to scratch in terms of the quality. It's all on the iPhone and a bit of uh, editing on the laptop, but um, we'll see if we can improve them over time. So let's go catch him with Lowry and see how his Cat RD4 dozer restoration project is coming along. Here's LP's Cat dozer or what's left of it while he's restoring it so the tracks are laid out here even had to build a little shed over it so that he can keep working there's the the bulk of it what's left of it there while he's busy restoring i can hear him and see him over here looks like he's washing the block let's go see what lp's up to here what are you up to here <laughs> well i'm doing uh initial preparation make it very clean so what, it, what, what is this, the block? We've got the cylinder block out of the RD4, 1937 model Caterpillar. Done an enormous amount of hours. And uh, like any uh, preparation, whether it be the race car or the old block, got to have it clean. So uh, my uh, provision to get around the fact that it weighs about 300 kilos and uh yeah so we're starting from scratch and where's your glasses oh mate i'm so wet if i have my glasses on i won't be able to see it all so uh better to be blurry without glasses and can't see with them yeah so you made this trolley to move the engine around yeah this is my uh easy to move trolley with big wheels on it because it's everything so heavy i've got to have some provision to roll things over and even put the crankshaft in which weighs about 70 kilos so yeah so I've made all this but uh, it's what you do when you're up on the farm and once you wash the block what next well I've got to wash the block and I put it inside I've already washed the crank and it's uh, wrapped up in plastic bag uh, I've got to put bar liners in it new uh, piston uh, bar barrels and then put the crank in then put the pistons in and uh, it's all starting to go together now and eventually I'll marry it up with that little pony engine that we saw running and then I'll put it in my uh, caterpillar over there that's in a million bits and one day I'll go for a drive. <laughs> and that's one part you're looking for, the pistons, isn't it? Yeah, I'm still, still looking for some good second-hand pistons. Uh, I'll, I'll get them somewhere around the world for sure. All right, we'll leave, it to, we'll leave you with it. Yeah, because these big wheels... You can push it over the bloody thing to, um, you know, I'm bloody glad I pulled it all apart. 